Now I want to show you a cool tip. So I selected, let's go ahead and select maybe like this point. I'm going to just pull that point out and you'll notice how it's affecting just a little region. So I'm grabbing that point. It's barely moving that point there. You can see it just barely moves. And as the more I pull out, it becomes more of a big bump, right? Well, here's a neat tip. We have this option in here called soft modification. And watch what this does. So I'm going to click that point, and then I'm going to turn on soft modification. And it's going to be kind of hard to see, but you'll see, because if I point, it kind of highlights it, but you'll see some red lines, some dark red lines, and some dark red points. And they kind of trail out to um, like these white points. So we go from dark red, kind of to pink, to white. Now what this is saying is, go ahead and move this point, but also move the other points that are kind of in that selection. So you'll notice that this point is now moving a little bit more than it was before. And it's kind of keeping this to be more of a softer extrusion than a sharper extrusion. Okay, so what does this mean? Well, you can see, for example, that we have different extents, such as distance, face count, and rectangular face count. So for example, if I click on face count, I want it to go out three faces, one, two, three. And so now it's gonna affect, and you can see it's gonna pull this pumpkin out, and it's really not creating just a, a, a bulge in this one little location, it's kind of pulling the whole pumpkin out. And again, the color kind of defines the intensity um, of how far it's gonna move. So the dark red, it's moving the most, pink, it's moving about halfway, and white, it's um, hardly moving at all, okay? So I like to do um, the, uh, the distance, and then you can also specify the distance right here. So for example, if I said one, you'll see I get like nothing, okay? I'll go two, let's go three. <laughs> Finally, you can see three, because I don't have very many faces or edges, it's only affecting this small area. And if I pull on that, sure enough, it's pr pretty much only being affected right there. However, if I were to change that from three to like nine, you'll see that that affects a lot more. And as I pull this out, it's actually gonna pull pretty much the whole side of the pumpkin, but not the top and not the other side, etc. So it's a really cool method to, you know, finely tune or kind of grab a whole bunch of faces and make it stay nice and smooth. Okay, then we also have different transitions. Right now it's set to smooth, and you'll notice that it's going from kind of the red slowly to the white. If I came in here and said linear, you're gonna see it's gonna be more of a linear transition, and if I say bulge, it's gonna affect a lot more, right? It pretty much stays mostly um, red. In fact, you can kind of see how it's pulling that whole pumpkin all the way out, so less of a fall off on that one. So I typically use the smooth. It kind of creates a nice smooth transition. And then you also have the ability to change the weight. How You can kind of see how I can change. So it's pretty much red right there and it pretty quickly goes to, uh, to white. <laughs> if I were to drag this, you're going to see the color kind of fade in. So it's a pretty powerful tool. I really like this. I use the soft modification quite often.